All right, I got this thing fully reassembled. It's already been cleaned, everything. I come to you with some tips and knowledge from the future. Uh, a couple things to look out for. Underneath both of these pressure regulating valves, these solenoids here, uh, there's two um, screens, one here, one here. They sit inside. Um, those are gonna be hard to remove, trying to remove them with a pick from the top. But once you get the halves of the valve body disassembled, those screens e easily push out from the inside. Uh, that's one tip. Second tip is there's a valve down here um, that comes out uh, with a pin that pulls out from the inside of the uh, second half of the valve body here, pulls up. If you take that out, do not do like I did and forget to put it back in before you put the halves together. I had to take the valve body apart again, put that valve in. And then also, if you're going to be installing, it's a torque converter damper valve kit over here on this side. Um, there's a pin, like a clip that needs to be put into the new sleeve from the inside of the valve body. It's inside this second half down here and uh, on this side. And that needs to be done when the halves are separated. So don't forget, when the halves are separated, if you remove this valve down here, not this damper, not this uh, manual valve here, but the one down here, if you remove that, don't forget to put that back in when the halves are separated, and don't forget the torque converter damper valve if you're going to do the Sonex kit. The regular uh, valve that comes OEM with this valve body does not need uh, a clip on the inside. So uh, that's it as far as tips. Let's dig into disassembly.
I come to you from the future again. This is actually being filmed two days after the last of the reassembly footage was shot. Why, you may ask? Why are these valves removed two days after the reassembly footage? Well, because it screwed up. I'm not exactly sure how, but these two valves got switched. The correct position for one and three in this side of the valve body is actually like this. That's the way they're supposed to be. Um, I only found this out after probably about three hours total of reviewing assembly footage and comparing it to the disassembly footage and just caught this out of the corner of my eye. I'm not sure how I got these two valves screwed up, but I reviewed all my footage and these are the only two valves that got swapped. So to save you guys from having the same issues and, and uh, possibly screwing up somewhere along the process, I'm including in the reassembly footage graphics that show you each one of these valves and where they go in each bore. Uh, due to the miracle of modern technology and video editing, uh, you can experience that in about a minute. It took me two days of heartache and sorrow. So, be happy. That's all. guess we'll uh, continue with reassembly footage at this point.
Thank you.